if you're just too young? That ain't true. What if you're too black? That ain't true. What if you're too brown? That ain't true. What if you're just not meant to do it? That ain't true. What if you just can't do it? That ain't true. What if it's too hard? I wanna push through. What if it's too rough? I wanna push through. What if there are too many words? I wanna push through. What if it's too tough? I wanna push through. Why? Red and black, um, because that is my alma mater, and I want people to value Winston Salem State University. So I think that Winston Salem State University helps to nurture students so that they can be successful in life. Um, Winston Salem State was founded in 1892 and their commitment to teachers started in a one-room schoolhouse with a classroom teacher and we were the first institution in the nation to grant elementary education degrees. We were, we've been providing education for uh, teachers since 1925 and I'm a product of teacher education here at Winston-Salem State University and I think this is the um, a profession that is really needed and Winston-Salem State University Department of Education does an excellent job providing or preparing teachers for education. Well I would definitely tell education majors that they have a responsibility to children to learn as much as they can while they're here at Winston-Salem State University and then to be able to part, impart that knowledge. They've been trained to meet the needs of children socially, emotionally, physically, and cognitively through this teacher education program. And so when they go out into the field, they have an emblem on their forehead that reads Winston-Salem State University. So they need to do us proud and make sure that they are reaching children through culturally responsive practices that they've been taught, um, advocating for those who cannot advocate for themselves. One of our um, areas that we focus on is care. That's our motto in the Department of Education. The C in care stands for committed, commitment to community service. A is for advocacy, so they definitely have to advocate for those. Re, uh, the R is reflective practitioner and E is empathetic leader. So demonstrating those same, that care in the schools, something that they were able to receive here at Winston-Salem State University will help them as they go out in life and enter into the most honorable profession I know, teaching. I had a college professor that I really adored, Dr. Jo May, and I would look at her and say, I'm going to have her job one day. And sure enough, not only do I have her job, I have her office. Yes, and she told me at her retirement party, I used to look at you and say, Beth is going to have my job one day, and that's just how it how it happened as a student. I knew, um, I just had that passion for teaching and I looked around and I said, I could do that. And the rest is history.